Hey, this is Chris Hickman from Decision First. I wanted to shoot a quick video here to show you, uh, give you a quick demo on how to build a live office connection uh, to use to bring in your data from uh, a Webby, a Crystal, or a Universe query from a business object system into Excelsius. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull up Excel, and inside of Excel I have my live office connection. So if we go into our application options here and we look in our Enterprise tab, I've got a connection back to our demo system at Decision First. And so I'm logging in with my administrator account, with password, with the standard web services URL, and the system, which is the, the CMS location, and then the authentication type I'm using here of Enterprise. If I click Log On, it's going to try to log me on with these credentials into the business object system. And then you can see we've got a little status spinner here at the bottom, and then once it logs on, you'll have a log off button now. I'll click OK. What I want to do is create a quick universe query. So I'll click universe query here, and it'll bring up a listing of universes from the business object system. So you can see we, here we have a listing of recent universes, and I've been using eFashion recently. Uh, and then we've also got a full listing of universes from our business object system. So I'm going to click recent and go into eFashion and click next. And what I'm going to do on the next screen is I'm going to pull in a couple of objects that I want to project on, onto my dashboard. So I'm going to go into store, I'm going to pull out state, and I'm going to pull out in measures sales revenue. And I want to pull back all states and all sales revenue. So I'm going to click next here. And then on our next screen here, we can give it a name. So we'll give this connection a name. So we'll call this states versus sales revenue and click finish. And then it's going to perform that universe query and pull the data into our Excelsius dash or into our Excel spreadsheet. So you can see here we have live data. We can pick this object and refresh it. And so if our data can if our data changes back in our data source, that changed data will be automatically brought into the Excel spreadsheet here. So I'm going to click save and I'm going to save this off on my machine as eFashion. Okay, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go into Excelsius. And starting with a blank dashboard, the first thing I'm going to do is import that spreadsheet. So we'll give Excelsius a moment to come up and we'll go data, import, and I'm going to point it over to that location. So we'll go to, to our libraries. Actually, this may be easier. Just select the location here and grab the path. Paste it here and open. And there's our eFashion spreadsheet and click open. So that's going to import the spreadsheet with the live office connection embedded. Obviously, you could have built the same live office connection inside of Excel or inside of Excelsius in Excel. But I like to have the real estate of the full Excel application on my screen, on my desktop. That way I can pull the data in. I can build the spreadsheet separately and then pull the spreadsheet into my Excelsius dashboard when I'm ready to design. So now we've got a full spreadsheet here. Uh, we can still go back in and see whenever we select these objects, uh, whenever I select the universe object, I can pick refresh object. It's going to go back, validate the web service, log in as the user that I've specified. Validation succeeded and it'll refresh the data. And it says, uh, universe objects may be lost. At, uh, the user-defined operations sorts and filters on the live office objects may be lost after refresh. Do you want to continue? And what that's telling you is that it, on this data, if you apply a sort or a filter or anything, you could lose that sort of that filter. Uh, and then just the data from the universe will be imported. So now we can use this data as we normally would within Excel. So what we want to do, I'm just going to pull out a quick spreadsheet table. I'm going to pull out a chart and drop it on. I'm going to line these up a little bit better. Just align the tops here. I'm going to bind the spreadsheet table to my data. Okay. 
And then in behavior, I'm going to take selectability away from row 1 because we don't want to give the user the ability to select the header there. On the pie chart, I'm going to change this to states versus sales revenue. And here we'll just take the subtitle off. Now my data, I'm going to specify my numeric data here. And my labels, I want them represented by the states. So you can see here, now we have a pie chart that's showing the sales revenue by state. And I'm going to resize this so that my legend isn't jammed right underneath my title. And I'm going to do a little cleanup here. I'm going to resize my dashboard to fit the components. And then I'm going to pop it out a little bit so that we have a little more space around the margin. And I'm going to preview this dashboard. When you preview the dashboard, it's going to run the dashboard with the data in the Live Office connection as it is whenever you uh, ran the dashboard at design time. So you can see here we can mouse over, we can do selections, but we haven't wired up the data insertion for the spreadsheet here. So the last step here is to go into our data manager and manage our Live Office connection. So I'll go to data and connections, and you see there's no data connections. What we want to do is go to add live office connections and it recognized that we had one live office connection and it pulled up the name and the type so it's state versus sales revenue which is the name that we gave it and it's a live office type so we need to change our session url to the url of our business object system in this case it's demo.decisionfirst.com and then over here on the usage tab we determine how we want the options or how we want the data to refresh do we want the data to refresh before the components are loaded? Well, sure, why not? Um, we can also set the data to load uh, at specific intervals. So we can have it load every five seconds, every 10 minutes, or every hour, every three hours, uh, whatever makes sense for your data. But I'm going to uncheck refresh every uh, because we don't want it to refresh on a regular basis. We definitely want it to refresh before components are loaded. You can also set refresh on a trigger. So you can specify a trigger cell and then say when that trigger cell changes. So if we were to change our specification or our, our selection for our state listing here, we could trigger a live office connection to just pull data back for that specific state. So we could bind that to a range or a cell and whenever that cell changes, we could say when value changes. We could also say when value becomes so that the live office connection will refresh when the trigger cell becomes a specific value. So if we select California, when the trigger cell becomes California, we could have a refresh. And if you select Colorado, DC, or any of the other states, it will not refresh. So in this case, we'll leave it refreshed before components are loaded. You also have an option here for load status. And this is kind of nice whenever you have uh, the case where you have a longer running live office connection. You can specify a loading message and idle message so that when data is loading, you can have a message that says data is loading or when there's no data loading and it's ready for, it's waiting for user input it's considered to be idle so you've got a loading message an idle message and then the cell that you want to insert that into and then you can bind that to a regular set of excelsius components like a text object and so all i'm going to do here is enable load cursor which will replace my pointer whenever i'm running my dashboard with an hourglass while the data is loading so i'm going to click close and we'll preview this dashboard and when the dashboard comes up, it's going to show us the same dashboard, but you'll notice that our cursor is now an hourglass and is asking us to log in. And this is because we have the data set to refresh when the before the components are loaded. So because I'm hosting this outside of a business object system and I'm connecting back into a business object system, it's asking me to log in with valid credentials. So I'll enter my credentials and click OK. And it's going to load that data. Now my data is the same because this is not a connected or it's not a, a, a live database. The data is not, not changing. It's not connected to an external system that's updating the data. But you can see here that we've loaded our data in. So that's just a quick demo on how to view the data, uh, how to bring in live office data inside of business objects, inside of Excelsius, and connect it up so that it loads up every time your dashboard loads. Uh, to contact me, my email address is chris.hickman at decisionfirst.com. My Twitter account is at 
chickenhickman72. So uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and I look forward to hearing from you.